Before we do a problem on finding the inverse of a function, let's quickly go through the definition of inverse of a function. If we're given f of x equals y, then f inverse of y will equal to x and vice versa. So x and the y are switched when we do inverse functions. Here's an example. If we have f of 3 equals 5, then f inverse of 5 will equal to 3 since we switch the 3 and the 5 for the inverse function. Now for the problem. If we have f of x equals 2x plus 3 over x minus 1, the first thing we want to do is change that f of x into y. Next, we want to go ahead and solve for x. To do that, we're going to multiply by x minus 1 and also x minus 1 to the equation where we get xy minus y is equal to, x minus 1's cancel out, of course, then we have 2x plus 3 left on the right side. Next, we want to bring everything with x to the left side and everything without x to the right side, giving us xy minus 2x equals y plus 3. Next, we want to go ahead and factor out the x so that x will be by itself. So we have x times y minus 2 equals y plus 3. Next, we want to go ahead and divide it by y minus 2 to the left and the right side of the equal sign, where we get x equals y plus 3 all over y minus 2. Then, our final step is going to be where we switch the x and the y using the definition of uh, inverse of a function, where we get y equals x plus 3 over x minus 2. Only thing left to do is rewrite this y as f inverse of x instead of the y is equal to x plus 3 over x minus 2. So there you go, folks. That's going to be the final answer, meaning given the function 2x plus 3 over x minus 1, inverse function will be x plus 3 over x minus 2. One thing you do want to notice is that here, I solve for the x directly. Another way of doing it is to swap out the x and the y to start with, and then solve for y. So that you got two ways to go. So again, you could go ahead and solve for the x, like I did here first, and then swap out the x and the y at the end. Or you could go ahead and swap the x and the y to start with, and then solve for y. Either way, you'll get the same um, final answer. Mm -hmm.